here. I'm Jennifer Carter with Newport This Week, and I am here today with Leslie Jones. How are you? I'm great, Jen. Thanks for coming. Great. Thank you so much for having us. I'm hoping you can tell us a little bit about this new exhibit that you have over here at Rosecliff. Absolutely. So Becoming Vanderbilt is the Preservation Society of Newport County's newest exhibition featured in our galleries at Rosecliff. We are highlighting four of the most indomitable women in the Vanderbilt family. Alice Claypool uh, Vanderbilt, Alva Vanderbilt Belmont, Consuelo Vanderbilt Balzan, and Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney. Today we're going to be focusing a little bit most on Alva. Uh, Alva Vanderbilt is pictured here in a portrait by an unknown artist about 1880s. Uh, she's in her 30s at this point, and Alva has a really remarkable life story. Uh, coming from Mobile, Alabama as a young girl, then moving to New York City, spending quite a bit of her formative years in Paris, France, and then uh, quite a bit of her uh, adult life split between New York City, Newport, Rhode Island, and Long Island. So we're going to be moving into a space that shows a bit about what Alva's most passionate subject is, and that is women's suffrage. Fantastic. I think this is so great that we have this here locally in Newport. And we absolutely love sharing it with our, with our fellow Newport citizens. Um, in particular, we're going to focus here on a series of China that Alva had uh, commissioned for a 1914 conference of great women that was held at Marble House. In the photo uh, that you were just seeing, you have Alva on the right and her daughter Consuelo at Marble House as part of this conference. And this was a fundraiser to raise money for the suffrage cause, which is very important as to why this exhibition is taking place in 2020. We're commemorating both the centennial of the 19th Amendment's passage, which granted women the right to vote, and also celebrating the Preservation Society's 75th year. Uh, so it's pretty um, wonderful for us to be taking those two uh, enormous events and uh, focusing them on the women of the, the Newport mansions. This is really fantastic. I have to say, I think this would be great for kids that, students that are maybe seventh or eighth grade that are starting to study like local history Absolutely. and women's history. This would be really fantastic for them to come see with their parents. Uh, for sure. Can you show us a little bit more? Absolutely. And I, just to build off that point too, Jen, I think it's great that so much of our national identity and national history actually took place in Newport. So it's important for us to uh, reflect on the importance of our, of our own local um, history here. Uh, Alva's daughter, Consuelo Vanderbilt, ends up marrying the ninth Duke of Marlborough, and she becomes then the Duchess of Marlborough. These two pieces, as well as the accessories that go along with them, are on loan to us from the Blenheim Palace Heritage Foundation in the United Kingdom. Uh, Blenheim Palace is one of the largest palaces uh, owned by a noble family. When Consuelo married the Duke, uh, she moved there, of course, and had two children. Uh, her, her family life was not the happiest of, um, of all, but she did end up finding happiness in the end with uh, finally divorcing the Duke and then marrying Jacques Balzan, who was um, quite a famous aviator. And in terms of the loans that we have on the, in this ex exhibition, they're made by uh, the Glenham Palace Heritage Foundation, um, the Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney Studio in Long Island, and then other uh, private Vanderbilt family members, in addition to the Preservation Society's own collection. So there's quite a bit to see here, ranging from costume to furniture to paintings. That really highlights the extraordinary, yet very different legacies that each of these women leave. Uh, both in on Newport as well as on the United States. They, you know, they share the last name Vanderbilt, but they were each very strong individuals. This is, this is so interesting considering what we're going through now with an election and just the women's place in history. Like Being able to highlight that locally is, is so amazing, and I think people should definitely take the opportunity to come by and check it out for sure. Um, I, on a lighter note, I have to say the detail and things in the clothing uh, it's it's amazing. How on a later how would how long do you think it would take for them to get ready and wear this clothing on a regular basis? Well, and it's interesting in that point is that they weren't getting ready themselves. If anyone's a Downton Abbey fan, of course, they'll know from you know a similar time period that there were a team of people that would help an individual prepare to get dressed for such occasions. These two pieces of clothing, of course, were also for very special occasions as part of the British aristocracy. Uh, Consuelo and her son wore these two. Uh, outfits as part of the coronation of King George V in 1911. So uh, not only did they have a team helping them get ready, but uh, they were clearly wearing things that was to very important events. Very interesting. 
Yes. And I'm sure they had some pairings with different hats with some of their outfits. Do you think uh, hats are ever going to make a comeback? I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're fantastic. Less work for doing the hair and stuff, you know? Yes. Um, I'm just going to take a quick tour, if you don't mind, walk a little bit further through so we can Absolutely. show our viewers a little bit more of what might be in the exhibit, at least the second room. How many areas are there in this exhibit? In total, there are six, and we each highlight specific women. Uh, we just passed through Consuelo's phase. This is Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney. She is the daughter of Alice Vanderbilt of the Breakers. She is, of course, from co a cousin to Consuelo but could not have been more different in terms of the life that she led. She became a prominent artist, a sculptor in particular, as you're seeing represented by the works of art that are in this space. These are her works. Um, and she was also you know, somewhat of a, a rebel in terms of being a female at the turn of the 20th century. And these are, of course, again, as I mentioned, some objects that have been on loan to us from her studio in Long Island. It was very interesting. I really appreciate you giving us the tour, for sure. Um, so I know that this exhibit has been online at this point because of COVID, um, but at this point now, people can come in and take a, le take a peek at it. Yes. When is it open for people to come and take a look to see the full exhibit and learn the history that we have here? So Rosebud, the galleries only, are open Thursday through Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And you can purchase tickets on our website, newportmansions.org and we really hope that you all join us here. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.